So we just ran into a local in an extremely heavily modified side-by-side -side who is shocked that we were back here towing blades. Um, apparently, nobody comes back here unless they have a super modified side-by-side -side or a rock bouncer, a rock crawler. Basically anything that's set up to rock crawl. <laughs> so he was very surprised that we were back here towing and had no issues making it all the way out to the end. So it just goes to show how um, how truly capable we are in this rig. We can go wherever we feel like going and we can camp there. Either that or it shows how crazy we are. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of both. <laughs> this area is really fun. I'm enjoying it a lot. I'm also surprised that there's not more vehicles out on the road. Today's a week weekend day and uh, we've only seen a few side-by-sides and one four-wheeler. So, um, yeah, this is a nice area. We like it a lot. It's not too much. I don't see a whole lot of trash. I'm going to have to get over my dislike of being next to cactuses, I think. They're beautiful. I just don't want to be near them. So one thing to do when you're four wheel driving, especially if you're towing a trailer, is when you come to a hill like this, super steep, all the way up there, you get out and you walk it because uh, I don't know what's at the top. So I need to know when I'm just staring straight up at the sky, I need to know what's up here and which way I can go. This is a lot of loose boulders. This is a very steep climb. Black Betty and Blaze definitely got the ground clearance. Black Betty would be no sweat. But dragging 3,500 pounds dead weight trailer up here. Uh, and it's slick rock too. Slick rock, loose gravel, loose boulders. You can see how high we are. There's Black Betty way down there. Way down, this is super steep. So, I gotta make a decision. So far this doesn't look bad. My issue is there's a shelf right here and there's a shelf right there and there's a shelf right there. So Black Betty should be fine. I don't want to hit a shelf with Black Betty at the same time I hit a shelf with Blaze. So that's what my concern is. Now there is a campsite right here. It's also a campsite right over here. Just couple hundred feet or a hundred feet back. We are 
out here in the middle of Table Mesa. There's nobody else around. Having the right rig to get where you want to go, it's different for everybody. Um, sometimes when people want to go places, you need like a super really stout rock crawler. Other people, you need a snorkel because you like to do river crossings. Other times you just need the right size lift and the right tires to get you where you want to go. Uh, for us, we have a three inch Icon vehicle dynamics lift and we have an Expedition trailer that has a Timberin four inch axleless axle, four inch lift. And we run six of the BF Goodrich 285-70-17 KO2s. And I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. Why don't you go to the KM3s? The KM3s are excellent tires. Don't get me wrong. But we full-time. And one of the big things is in there are a bunch of states on a bunch of roads and highways and interstates. If it is snowing or icy, if you don't have a mountain and snowflake on your tire, regardless of how aggressive your tread is, they force you to stop and put chains on your tires. With the KO2s, we have the mountain snowflake. So, never have to chain up, just keep on rolling. Worst case, we are down, but we just keep on rolling. We absolutely love it. So, our three inch lift was done by 88 rotors. It's a three inch Icon Vehicle Dynamics, and that's on Black Betty, front and back. Because we full time, we did the 200 pound over springs in the back. Trailer sits perfectly level. Black Betty sits perfectly level. We're not shining our lights on anybody. None of that stuff. So on the Voyager, we got the same 285 70 17 BF Goodrich KO2s. But we have the Timbrin Axleless Axle. And it is a four inch lift because it's independent suspension. Our trailer's not bouncing it all over the place. Absolutely love it. The right gear for what you do is what matters. The always, always been a big proponent of do, go do what you want to do and then figure out the gear that makes it easier or better or more fun or more comfortable. That is our opinion on how you should buy gear. And there's so much gear, so many different manufacturers of gear that you can find exactly what you need, very specific to your vehicle and to the lifestyle you wanna live and the places you wanna go. So take some time to do that Having the right gear for what you want to do is absolutely different for every single person. For what we do, this is what we have because this is what we need. Um, if we decide to get into more extreme stuff or more extreme trails that are boulders or rock shelves or stuff like that, hey, if we decide to do that, that's cool. Get the rock sliders, get the skid plates, get the bumpers, get the winches. No problem. But for right now, we're not doing that, so there's no reason to spend that money. Um, that's what we've always told everybody that always asks us and come through is what's next upgrade? What's the next upgrade? And you know, we don't we don't live that way. You know, we do it first. And when we have to have it or the damage happens, that's when we go ahead and buy it. Put all the questions you have down below. We have tested this stuff very well. We know this gear very well, and that's it for this video. We're on to the next adventure.